I'm very grateful to the archives where I spent many days researching my book um, with wonderful help from a wide variety of archive staff members and I'm grateful for today and for all of the work that you do maintaining the archives for the United States and our citizens. Thank you very much on this special day for you. Teaching history my entire life, I've dedicated my life to history. And coming down here and having the opportunity to experience it, to see it, to smell it, and to be within inches of it, it is by far the coolest experience of my entire life. I can't imagine there's anything more, so I just wanna thank everybody at the National Archives. Uh, I appreciate everything you do. I know every history teacher and history lover appreciates everything you do, and you allow me to do what I do. So I just want to thank you guys so much. Thank you to the archivists and staff at the National Archives in College Park in Washington, D.C. Without the archives and the people working in those buildings, I wouldn't have been able to uncover the material I needed to write my master's thesis, dissertation, and ultimately my book, This Grand Experiment, which examines the first women to work for the federal government during the Civil War. Without the help of archivists like legislative archivist Rod Ross in D.C., I wouldn't have been able to uncover petitions signed by hundreds of female federal employees, many of whom were asking for equal pay for equal work much earlier than we had previously thought. Thank you for being the guardians of such critical pieces of American history, and thank you also for being so patient with and respectful to everyone who walks through your doors, be they professional historians, students, or just people seeking to learn more about their families and their country. We're lucky to have you. Hi, I'm Charlie Bolden. I'm the 12th NASA Administrator serving with, with President Obama uh, and also a 34-year veteran of the United States Marine Corps. I really wanted to thank everybody on the archive staff. Um, you all may not know it, but you, you shocked me uh, several years ago after I did a tour here with Senator Bill Nelson and my first shuttle crew, and I mentioned to the archivist a letter that I had written to President Johnson uh, as, a, as a high school kid saying I needed help getting to the Naval Academy. The very next day, someone delivered a brown envelope containing a, a real copy of that letter that you all had gone into the, to the Johnson files and had found this handwritten letter from this little kid in Columbia, South Carolina, and it meant everything to me. So thank you very much for what you do. Hi, it's Susie Castle with the Auckland's Diary Project. There's a shout out to all the archivists. I just wanted to thank you so much for the support that you've given me over these years. Um, Camp Edit gave me the skills that I needed in order to pursue this project. And obviously the grants gave me the time that I really needed in order to get it done. So the manuscripts impress. I couldn't be more excited and I can't thank you enough. Thank you. We'd like to thank the NHPRC for their continued support of our work digitizing, transcribing, and annotating the family letters of William H. Seward. Your financial support through the Literacy and Engagement with Historical Records grant has fostered connections between the university and Rochester's senior community that have opened up new scholarship and richer conversation about the Seward family. This is a thank you from the papers of the revolutionary era Pinckney Statesman of South Carolina uh, I'm Connie Schultz, I'm the project director. I'm Mary Scherer, I'm the associate editor. Yeah. And the NHPRC funds support Mary's salary, so we're both Thank very you. grateful. <laughs> Thank you. Um, 25 years ago, I was a member of the NHPRC commission, and now it's my privilege to have a project that is funded in part by NHPRC and another part by NEH, and we thank you. I found out from a friend that the archives is doing, uh, is beginning to scan the records of the Coast Guard ships that served in Vietnam. I was on one of those ships in 1967. When I found out about this, I was very excited and I said, yes, I'd like to come and scan records. So about a week ago, I came in, started scanning the records from the ship that I served on. And it was pretty astounding to open up the first log page on for July 1st, 1967, and see my name there. I was the watch officer at that time. We were underway in Vietnam in Area 6, and I've only gotten through two months of the Yakutats service in Vietnam. I want to come back and keep working and, and complete scanning all the, the Yakutats records. I've thoroughly enjoyed it, and I feel like I'm a part of history. I saw my name historically captured 50 years ago, and it's pretty neat to be able to see that. Hi, I'm Joseph Jaynes. I'm an associate professor in the University of Washington Information School. And it was my great honor and privilege to speak last fall at the archives 
uh, about my most recent book, Documents That Change the Way We Live. As someone who studies historic documents and their cultural impacts, I've benefited a lot from the many digitized collections and supporting materials uh, from the archives, from the check that purchased Alaska, the Zimmerman telegram, the 19th Amendment, the Zapruder film, lots of different objects, lots of different formats. So I want to say many thanks to all the folks who've worked behind the scenes to make all of that kind of material more available, more accessible to more people. We really appreciate it.